Hello, dear friends. Opinion piece. Bicycles are for summer, but use them with caution. The bicycle is a good and joyful dream. It's a symbol of freedom and autonomy. It also symbolizes imposed restraint. The dark side is attacking on multiple fronts. There is no summer now because of weather anomalies. Drafts, fires, floods, earthquakes and tsunamis. Flooded dumps are deep subway military bases. Deadly drone strike on Israel ship off the coast of Oman. Severe heat wave hits European Mediterranean over the weekend. Erdogan suspects forests in southern Turkey were deliberately set on fire. Let's start. The bicycle represents a game, a fun way to hang out with friends in the summer. It can also be considered a symbol of freedom and autonomy. It means that summer means freedom, peace and fun. But now there is no traditional summer, but chaos, because of weather anomalies. Bicycles are for summer means that just as summer is associated with fun and adventures, bicycles are associated with freedom. Bicycles are only used at times when one can have fun and be happy. However, the title can also be interpreted as a restriction, an order imposed by an authority figure, by an adult with the ability to give orders. And those restrictions are what we have now. The bicycle is a good and joyful dream. If you ride it, you will secure your luck. If it is some, uh, someone else, be wary of friendships. To dream that we ride the bicycle means we will have a favorable romance. But if we fall off a bicycle, it means a loss of money we have risked in any venture of business. The title Bicycles are for Summer is a play written by Fernando Fernando Gomez in 1977. In 1978, it won the Lope de Vega Award from the Madrid City Council. If we take into account that the priorities of middle and lower class people in the post-war period were to end money and to be able to eat and move forward, we can understand now that the bicycle becomes a useful tool as an improvement of working conditions. Silence. All information sources in all areas of their reset have remained silent. Either they were asked, I talked, or they si signed very strict confidential agreements. When it is that quiet, it is always a good sign that things are getting done. On a metaphysical level, it's time we take back our sovereignty and stop giving them the energy they crave. Let no more negative thoughts invade our collective consciousness. Let us stand in the light of God and dream in the new multiverse. Everything always moves to a, higher, to a higher resonance. This is the universal law. So let us transmute fear into love and stand in the light of our beings as we transcend these lower thought forms. Multiple fronts. The dark side is attacking on many fronts according to Steve Biko. Floods, earthquakes, shutdowns, audit destructions, picketing, green passes, heat domes, transportation, disruption, etc. Every week seems to bring a new crisis. Meanwhile, the coalition seems to be taking advantage of the crisis. The flooding seems to have been directed at the tunnels and dumps, flooding unknown stretches of them. Dumps stand for deep underground military bases or deep subway military bases. There are said to be 1,400 dumps worldwide. Supposedly, 
Each base can house 1,800 to 10,000 people. And arrests also seem to be occurring across the board. Our thoughts are with the humans who are serving us for the liberation of humankind. I'm sure they face a particularly dangerous job, given that the dark side is cornered and every corner beast is very dangerous. What was said of the falling in mm, World War II, did they give us their today so that we could have a tomorrow? What was in, it's, it's a question. What was said of the falling in World War II? Did they give, give us their today so that we could have a tomorrow? At no time was our tomorrow in greater danger. At no time has have so many people around the world united to keep it back to us. For our part, the sooner we wake up, the fewer brave men and women will die. All honor to those who are doing this dangerous work. Disasters. This past week, there have been drafts, wildfire floods, earthquakes and tsunamis around the world, resulting in crop failures, while meat packing facilities were being shut down. Farmers were selling their heads prematurely due to lack of feed, and farmers were receiving letters from the Department of Agriculture offering cash to get rid of crops, all of which seemed destined to lead to a food shortages and global financial implosion, none of which were reported in the mainstream media. Some, day, some say the weather is manipulated. Others say it is Mother Earth punishing the abuses that have been committed against her. And still others say that all these imbalances are part of the planetary ascension process, as if they were the banks of the childbirth. It is possible that they are all badly right, or that hunger and the desire to eat, as we say here, as we say here. But I believe that the same phenomenon may have different concomitant causes. News from the USA. The House of Representatives adjourned for a six-week August recess without approving an extension of the eviction moratorium that expires Saturday, leaving millions of Americans at risk of losing their homes. Lawmaker spends night in front capital against the return of evictions. Republican Cory Bush, who was evicted three times and lived in her car with her two children before her political career, spent a sleepless night on the steps of the Capitol to protest a, re a resumption of evictions Saturday. Ivanka Trump wants they plan to introduce another blockade soon. Heavy rains cause flooding in Miami and Arizona. Mass casualty incident declared after GMC dealership collapse in Bensalem, Pennsylvania. A building collapsed on numerous people after a tornado. Witnesses say people are screaming and under rubble. A powerful tornado raped through Bensalem in eastern Pennsylvania, injuring at least five people and leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Radioactive material is missing en route on Michigan. The source of radioactive ir iridium-192 material was en route to Michigan from a facility in Ohio, Florida. These negates swing in the flooded streets of Magic Kingdom because they were tunnels and the Disney World. The government will test its EBS emergency broadcast system on August 11th. Tech giants say they have blocked six audit accounts in Arizona, calling them spam. The Darhan report is expected to be released anytime 
in mid-August. U.S. Attorney John Darham is under pressure to conclude his inquiry into the origins of the Russia investigation by the end of the summer. People pay their taxes to police officers, firefighters, military doctors and politicians to protect and help the people. It's time for us to unite for our human rights and freedom. A perfect storm. The Atlantis report. Today the perfect storm, storm is upon us. Debt is collapsing, collapsing this economy. We have devastation of biblical proportion before us and almost no one see, sees it. They are going to spend trillions of quantitative easing on buying stocks trying to keep a high value. We are all we are seeing the deflation that happened in 1929. It means they are going to drive prices down. All the indicted toppers at JP Morgan suddenly go sick, got sick and disappeared from sight. If one is too big to fail, the bank goes. They all go. Investors withdrew 12 0.2 billion dollars from funds buying bonds and corporate loans, the largest weekly total in at least a decade. Europe. Severe heat wave hits European Mediterranean over the weekend. A historic heat wave continues to batter Sicily this weekend, sparking wildfires and record temperatures. Italian firefighters have had to intervene 250 times in 24 hours to tackle the blazes on the island, with the city of Catania particularly hot hit. Tanker planes have been deployed to control the flames inland. Authorities have reported that the situation ha had improved on Saturday. Mm. Firefighters battle wild, wildfires in the Sicilian city of Catania. Italy's firefighters says Saturday, said Saturday they were battling a second straight day of, of wildfires in Sicily that reached the city of Catania, forcing people from their homes and temporarily closing the local airport. Thousands protest in France. Demonstrators flooded the streets of cities and towns in France for the third week in a row, as citizens continued to resist the government's plan to demand a health pass to participate in various ordinary activities. Huge crowds turned out in Paris on Saturday as riot police tried to corral the endless columns of protesters, of protesters filling the capital's main Thorough fairs. Drumming, chanting, and the explosion of firecrackers could be had in a live feed of the massive demonstration. Demonstrators could be had shouting freedom as they snaked throughout the city street, streets. No classic aftermath on German chemical blast, official says. The aftermath on Tuesday's feral explosion at an industrial site in Western Germany contained no toxic substances. An official with the Regional Environmental Protection Agency said Friday. England. Britain's National Health Service has developed a secret plan to refuse hospital care to people in nursing homes. The Telegraph reports. Confidential documents, documents show that the service refused treatment to those over 70 and instead offered them support for the last days of life. Australia. Martial law in Sydney. Troops move into Sydney to begin lockdown on Monday. Australia sends in the army to enforce its lockdown. Soldiers and police will patrol Sydney along with helicopters with blaring sirens telling people to disperse or they will be fined. Africa. Somalia. A bomb explodes on a bus 
Covering the Saucer Team in Kismayo, a town south of Mogadishu. That later on, attack on Israel ship off Oman coast. The attack that killed two people aboard the Israeli operated Mercer Street oil tanker off the coast of Oman in the Arabian Sea on Thursday was a drone strike, said the US Navy's Fifth Fleet, which operates in the region. Zimbabwe's finance minister forecasts strong growth in 2021. Zimbabwe's economy is expected to grow by 7.8% in 2021 from an initial forecast of 7.4%, driven by moderating inflation, rising commodity prices and a better agricultural harvest, Finance Minister Michuli Nukube said Thursday. Turkey. Erdogan suspects Turkey's southern forests were set on fire on Papas. Turkish authorities are investigating the causes of the forest fires raging in the south of the country and are, and are not rallying out the version that they are premeditated, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan said. New wildfires break out in Turkey. Wildfires continue to rage in southwestern Turkey, with a new massive blaze now threatening the tourist hotspot of Bodrum. At least six people were killed in fires that devastated large tracts of a forest and destroyed multiple homes. The new fire broke out Saturday in forested mountains next to the popular resort town of Bodrum, located on Turkey's Aegean coast. Images show a wall of fire towering over the town. Green meteorite falls in Turkey. A green tinted meteor has been spotted near the Turkish city of Izmir, falling in the mountains with a loud boom. The event sent shock waves throughout social networks, sparking wild rumors. The meteor fell to the earth earthly early Saturday, its trajectory captured on film by several people. Its descent was followed by a loud bang resembling an explosion. Afghan forces regained control of Erat after two days of fighting against Taliban. After two days of heavy fighting, Afghan authorities claimed to have won the Taliban group that was trying to take control of the city of Herat on Saturday. Despite retaking full control, the insurgents went as far as attacking the UN United Nations office for the second day in a row. Thousands displaced by flooding in Bangladesh Rohingya camps. Heavy monsoon rains triggered landslides and flash floods in refugee camps that displaced thousands of Rohingya Muslims in southeastern Bangladesh this week. United Nations and other officials said Friday with more heavy rains expected. China China shuts down nuclear reactor after full damage. China is shutting down a reactor as, as at its titanium plant in the southern part of the country for maintenance after fears of a leak were sparked by a rise in the level of radioactivity. But a few days earlier, the French co-owner warned that, that damage to the uranium fuel rods is serious and evolving. A team of 20,000 people will monitor the dangerous section of the Thangway River that flows throughout five cities with some 250,000 inhabitants. China faces another flooding situation this time. The Wangzhou subway station has been flooded with rainwater and evacuated commuters. Chinese tech stocks suffer west sell-off 
since global financial crisis. China's big tech stocks suffered their worst month since October 2008 as the latest crackdown by Chinese regulators forced, forced investors to revalue the, the world's largest stock market, triggering a huge sell-off. Science and technology. Argentina's lakes turn pink. Two lakes in a remote coastal region of Patagonia in Argentina have turned fluorescent pink, a still unexplained phenomenon that local environmentalists fear may be harmful and caused by industrial pollution. Electric cars, solution of road. The, the European Union will ban the sale of diesel, gasoline and hybrid cars from 2035. This is the idea of the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, threw out a legislative proposal. But the question arises, are electric cars the ultimate solution or are we only on the threshold of a new problem? Air Land 10, the 90 meter long hybrid airship that promises to become an environmentally friendly alternative to airplanes. The British company Hybrid Air Vehicles announced that the first passengers will be able to board the world's longest airship in 2025. The British company recently unveiled the future design of the Airland 10 airship airplane hybrid, a project that has been in development for more than 10 years and underwent considerable changes. The manufacturer promises that the airship, the longest in the world, will become a comfortable means of transport, ideal for intercity travel and will be much more environmentally friendly than the airplane. A new piece in the puzzle of life of Mars emerges. A new study changes what was previously believed about subway lakes beneath the surface of Mars that could possibly harbor life. Bright reflections detected by radars beneath Mars, Mars South Pole may not be subway lakes as previously believed, but clay deposits new research reveals. The New Earth by Judith Castle I was taken into the future of the New Earth and, in fact, it is being created right now, as the New Earth was fully born in 2020. All I can say is that all Earth and all humanity are now at the crucial crossroads as never before. There will be those who simply will not make it to the New Earth, and that is by their own choice for each soul has free will. Many are being influenced by outside forces and even by those around them and are succumbing to this even against their own inner knowing. This will result in a massive outflow of souls and this will increase in the coming weeks, months and years. With some souls it will be because their soul contracts has, have been fulfilled, and others because they so choose and in some they agreed succumbing to the pressures of the masses. However, throughout all of this, such an immense light is now rising and an immensely powerful uprising of soul choosing to move to the new earth and the full embodiment of the new higher body. Some are in fact already there having ascended to the new earth and are therefore paving the way for the new golden age in very beautiful ways. It is your own free will choice now, which path you, are, you choose to take, whether you allow yourself to buy into the massive fear and in fact succumb to the pressures and be rushed deeper into the quagmire and therefore the disintegration of the old death. 
repeating the same old unforgiveness, shame and guilt, the same old negative patterns, etc. Or perhaps you can choose to allow yourself to be purified to the highest degrees and then transfigured and indeed this means daily change now and indeed a daily influx, influx of immense powerful changes which will intensify now and indeed more so because we need to be elevated now beyond anything that has ever been. By 2032 this process will be over as the new golden age is fully anchored. However, we only have a window of 18 months now to allow us to be lifted beyond. We can only go throughout this immersed transfiguration throughout the portal of the open heart and the power of unconditional love and oneness within. Duality in any form of expression of duality cannot move into the new earth. Remembering that if duality still exists within the self, the soul cannot ascend. I realize, and this has been stated by a friend, that the animals are already ascending and many are entering the new earth. Indeed, now is the time to shed the old garments of the old earth and the old you forever and allow yourself to be reborn into the new and open to receive the new garments and a whole new life and new beginnings. This is all up to you. You have free will. Thanks a lot, dear friends.